what's happening? I love it, spicy.com. This is Fiber Joe out here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I have an awesome review. This is from Crazy Good. This is on their Crazy Mary Bloody Mary mix. There you go. This bottle's empty, man, for a reason. When I wanted to do this review, I wanted to check it out. I wanted to make me a couple Bloody Marys. Just like this one here and kind of give it the uh, the whole Bloody Mary experience type of thing um, before I get into that I'm gonna do a really quick readout of the ingredients I know you're all asking what's going on with the sombrero this is crazy good about a little bit of crazy today so we're throwing on the crazy hat ingredients real simple here we go Tomato pure, puree, wishy sour sauce, distilled white vinegar, molasses, water, sugar, onions, anchovies, salt, garlic, or garlic cloves, garlic and cloves, timoran extract, natural flavoring, chili pepper extract, uh, prepared horseradish, distilled vinegar, water, Soybean oil, apple cider vinegar. I'm sorry, apple cider vinegar, olive brine, green chili. I mean, it goes on forever. Fire roasted red pepper chilies, green chili dust, New Mexican green chili powder, sea salt, spices, salt, fresh lemon juice, black pepper, fresh garlic, Worcestershire cider powder, brown sugar, onion. I mean. Yeah, if you look really close, I even think it says the kitchen sink. Let's see on the back here. Pour two ounces of your favorite vodka into an ice-filled pint glass top. Top off glass with crazy good Bloody Mary mix. Garnish with celery, asparagus, olives, bacon, fried egg, chicken wings. <laughs> Remedies, hangover, boring Sunday brunch, holiday with the families. And frisbee golf we all love us some frisbee golf okay back to the empty bottle there's a reason for this this is one of the best Bloody Mary mixes I've ever got a chance to try uh, you can tell on the ingredients itself he's put everything into it you know sometimes when you go out you get a Bloody Mary mix, you end up adding stuff to it. Maybe a little bit of Worcestershire here, maybe some pepper here, maybe some garlic seasoning, um, olive juice, whatever. You know, you're always like, okay, I'm gonna add this, maybe it'll taste a little bit better. Let me tell you, this right here needs nothing. When I started on this, start drinking on it, I couldn't stop. This has got some amazing, amazing flavor. If you ever got a chance to meet Jim O'Brien, you'd understand. The dude's got a passion for cooking. He's got a passion for sauces. His passion for this industry just goes crazy, crazy way out. Which I can understand why he's got the whole crazy good Logan on his, all of his products. So, when we rate these, we do it on a scale of one to five flaming hearts. This is probably by far, if not one of the best, if the best, Bloody Mary's mixes that I've got a chance to try. So, when I say it is perfect, definitely give it a try for yourself. On the rating scale, on one to five, I have to give this one a perfect five. This stuff is insanely good I see a lot of posts on Facebook from Jim on his Bloody Mary mix and it's blowing up all over the place Memphis is going crazy over it and I can understand why he's got everything down to a science on this one it is perfect um, I can't stress enough give it a try check him out on crazygood.com um, I know we're not doing a review for this but if you do decide to go on there and buy some of this, 
do yourself a favor and pick up some of his green chili dust. It's, it's off the hook. It's, I put it on everything. I buy the stuff by the case. It is in, in, insanely incredible just as well as this is. But anyways, a crazy Mary, Bloody Mary mix. Dead on, 100% perfect. There you go. I think you guys will enjoy it. I, I, I'm telling you, it's, it's spot on, perfect. And uh, don't get no better than that, man. Check it out. You nailed it, Jimbo. We'll see you guys on the next one. It's just Piper Joe for I Love Spicy.com. Adios.